Target 12 is tracking how the city of Providence is spending taxpayer money. A veteran member of the police force is the latest retiree who will receive a six-figure payout for unused sick and vacation time. But he won't be the last as the city will eventually shell out a total of nearly a million dollars for this benefit that was approved by the city council. Let's get right to Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau with more details. Most of the million dollars in taxpayer money will be paid to 11 non-union managers in the Providence Police and Fire Departments. <laughs> the benefit of accruing unused sick time and getting a payout after you leave the job isn't new. But three years ago, the city council realized it was costly and changed the ordinance by closing the window for unused sick time payouts for future non-union employees. Many municipal union employees throughout the state still receive the sick time payout when they leave their respective jobs. What I'd really enjoy. Commander you. Thomas Oates is one of the longtime members of the Providence Police Department brass who will get the payout. As he takes over as chief of the Woonsocket Police Department, a document obtained by Target 12 from Providence indicates he will receive payment for more than 140 days of used sick time, as well as thousands in unused vacation time, for a total of just over $133,000. different in an email, Oates said he did not want to comment. John Igliozzi was the only council member to vote against the ordinance, saying then and now the city shouldn't give out any sick time payouts to non-union members. He tells us while managers like Oates do exemplary work and will be a loss to the department, rising up in the ranks comes with higher pay, higher pensions, and additional benefits. The city had stopped making the payments two years before the ordinance was tightened, creating a dispute with a handful of retirees over about $450,000 in unused sick time payments. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, I witnessed.